at night off the southern tip of Italy. The country's coast guard takes control of the drifting Ezzadine, apparently deliberately abandoned by its crew of smugglers. Those smugglers left hundreds of migrants on board, expecting them to be picked up by the coast guard. So you're watching the grainy climax of what appears to be a successful smuggling operation. The Ezzadine is now being towed to an Italian port by an Icelandic vessel, part of the EU's new Frontex border force. Everybody on board is well. We brought food and water. People are quiet and right now we're heading towards the northwest. The migrants found on the drifting ship may in the end be the lucky ones. The desperate voyage from the Middle East across these waters to Europe has become the most dangerous migrant journey in the world. Last year, more than 3,000 people drowned trying to get here. This is the second time this week that the Italian authorities have had to intercept a migrant ship abandoned by its crew. On Tuesday night, the Coast Guard took over a cargo vessel, the Blue Sky M, carrying more than 700 migrants escaping from war in the Middle East. The influx is growing. In 2013, some 60,000 migrants reached Europe. But last year, by September, that number doubled to more than 130,000. Of these, 10,000 were unaccompanied or separated children. People who are desperate and who are fleeing for their lives will always find a way to, to, to find uh, safety. And if they can't come through the door, they will try to come through the window. What needs to be done is to find safe, legal ways for refugees to come to Europe. In the case of the Ezzadine, the risk appears to have paid off. The migrants have made it into the hands of the Coast Guard and they're on their way to Europe. James Reynolds, BBC News, Southern Italy.